Hey, what up legends? How's it going? It's your boy Kiwi, and today we'll be playing a fantastic even paladin deck created by a player named Goodhout on Heartpawn. Of course, I'll put a link to his guide in the description for you guys. Um, if you don't know him yet, he's a multi-legend player who's managed to climb to top 100 multiple times in the past couple months. Um, the guy knows what he's talking about when it comes to um, Hearthstone and most specifically aggro decks in general. Uh, this time around, he comes in with what I would call a mid-range paladin um, and... Um, it definitely will do the job for you guys. He wrote an extensive guide explaining everything from mulligans to card choices to even matchup um, uh, specifics for m many different matchup types. And I hope that you guys read it as it will definitely improve not only your gameplay, but most likely your, your climb and uh, your rank overall um and your win rate so that is quite interesting in my opinion i've read it i believe he poses some fantastic points and i hope you do the same and of course before we get into the game as always we have a giveaway this sunday i'm gonna be giving away 15 hearthstone card packs so if you guys are interested in participating in that i would like for you to subscribe to the channel if you're not already of course um you have to do that in order to be able eligible to participate and then um i would also like for you to let me know down in the comment section what you think of the nerf that was put on odd paladin in general and um i'll enter you in the draw for those card packs so good luck to you good luck to your friends and um I hope I hope you guys have a a, uh, a good time with this deck. For knife jugglers, Argent protectors, hydrologists, and all on your on your starting hand. Um, if you don't get to half that, um, tough luck because it's quite important in my opinion. Also, never keep Wind Fury Harpy. It just makes your corpse taker much worse. Uh, you only have one copy of her in your deck, so keep that in mind. Apart from that, being able to... Oh, yeah, this is good. Being able to put down to we drop on turn two is probably the most important thing you can do in um, in a deck like this. And you're, of course, going to try to um, go at your opponent's face as fast as possible, from what I've heard. Um, now, the one thing I really like about this deck is that... Good out actually wrote a, an extensive guide uh, explaining mostly everything that you could think of in regards of this deck. Um, so he explained what makes the list different, the the explanation for every single card run in the deck, um, some synergies, some techs, every matchup and strategy, uh, mulligans and etc. etc. So you have a lot of good explanation of why you are doing such things. I don't mind just having him do that because I'll get an extra one drop and that's not too big of a problem. Um, so yeah, overall it's quite interesting to be able to see what his thoughts were on that. And so if you want to improve your win, uh, your win rate with this deck, please feel free to go read it out because it will definitely be very helpful to you. I'm going to be playing Corpse Taker. I understand my opponent is probably going to have some board clears at some point or a big taunt or something along those lines. So we'll have to be careful about that. Excuse me. Zilliax. Zilliax does not interest me. Zilliax definitely does not interest me. I'm just going to play Consecration here. I don't want to heal my opponent. I just want to do as much damage as possible. And I understand I no longer have a quality Consecrate, but I didn't heal the guy, and he's at 10. I've got two weapons in hand. I've got a Silence. Um, this dude's going down, mate. <laughs> That's what's happening. You've got so much damage in your... Yeah, no, don't care about that. Good, sir. You're very much dead. There we go. Turn six. This what happened? This what happened when you play this, huh? 
It's really good. I, I mean, it's. I, I would call it mid range a little bit. I would call it. Um, yeah, I would call it a little mid range because um, you've got a lot of good value um, that you don't need to you know wait too long in order to play. And even your big cards are an Im you know they have an immediate effect on the board and all. Um, Apart from Wind Fury Harpy, which is only really there for the Corpse Stakers, but in general, there's a lot of good value in a deck like this. And we start with a Knife Juggler. Oh boy, let's see, let's see what we can do out of this. We're playing against another Paladin. I'm hoping we have some fun. We have the coin. Yeah, we can coin Knife Juggler into into other stuff here. This should be this should be pretty good. This should be fun. Let's let's see what we get here. Okay. Now I'm wondering if he's playing a control paladin, in which case it might be a little complicated. We have turned um, our curse into But it seems like it's gonna be a mirror match. And as such Let's have some fun, good friend. Let us enjoy this great game of Hearthstone. I'm gonna coin out a knife juggler. And I'm just going to attempt at putting down some stuff on the board right here. Let's just go, bro. Let's go. The, okay, yeah. The, the um, Argent Protector would have been fantastic. I really hope the knife hits. Um, I'm going to take Redemption. Yes. Excellent. Now that I have been... Um, it's going to be a little complicated for my opponent to kill my Knife Juggler. Of course, I'll have Redemption on the board. Um, so let's go play Redemption. Play knife, juggler, uh, knife Juggle. Doesn't go in. You know what? If he wants to kill my Knife Juggler, that's fine. I'll get an extra one. And if he wants to kill this, um, I'll just get an extra Knife either, either way. So... It doesn't really matter. The, the extra, the extra knife is coming in. And my knife juggler is still gonna be, my knife juggler is still gonna be alive, unless he's got consecration, of course. Well played, well played, good sir. You had consecration. That is fine. I will play my true silver. True silver is gonna be very helpful. That's eight damage. Opponent's already at nineteen. Of course, I don't have anything on the board, but if my opponent decides to play Wisp, uh, Weapon of His Own, Sitting Swamp Poos come in. This is fine. I'll play Corpse Taker and I'll... Yeah, I'll play Corpse Taker. I won't use my weapon. It's a waste, in my opinion. We get the full value of Corpse Taker. Of course, it doesn't have Lifesteal on it. Which is a bit unfortunate. If you're interested in, um, I personally believe that you can a replace a card and um, add any card that's got life steal. To be honest, may maybe even just Crystal with Kingor or something along those lines. Um, but yeah, I mean, it'd probably be fine there. Um, let's go with Quality Consecrate. Yeah. No. I'm not sure. Yeah, let's go quality consecrate. I'm just gonna clear everything. My opponent's it's a bit annoying, and I've got a second quality here, so it should be fine. Um, I just I just hope that the guy doesn't have too many taunts, at which point it'd be pretty pretty frustrating to deal with. But this seems to be okay at the moment. He didn't play any Stonehill Defenders, of course he can't, because he's He's, you know, even. So that wouldn't be a thing in the first place. Um, Tier and Fordring, hell yeah. Um, I'm going to Blessing of Kings, this guy. Archer Protector, trade. So, I'm going to free, free trade. And I'm keeping a weapon just to, until, you know, I put down Tyrion or something. Depending on what he's going to play. Might have a, a good avenue for it to go face. Or, you know, traitors. You know, just figure out something here. Alright. It's unfortunate, but I did get the value from the, uh... 
the attack directly to him. I'll play Tyrion. I'll trade this 3-4. I mean, I'm eventually going to get another weapon, so this shouldn't be too much of a problem. This dude is not in a good spot. I have ways for, you know, I've got ways to um, equality, then play knife jugglers and start throwing knives at my opponent, which is pretty devastating in general. Um, like this, this is probably not a good, you know, a, a good deal for the guy. I guess that's, I guess this is what happens. Um, okay, so let's go knife juggler. Throw a knife. Hey, there we go. That guy's gone. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you get equality, mate. Man, I love this deck. That's not the easiest deck to play of all times, but it is definitely valuable, entertaining, refreshing, different. Um, really, what you're looking for are going to be those two drops. Um, you really need to mulligan for those, in my opinion. Um, in the opinion of Goodout, he says the best cards you can get would be to get two drops and a curse taker. And I, well, I truly agree with him. This is what I'm talking about. That knife juggler is probably not going to get played on turn two. We have turned However, into our um, because, well, specifically because I've got hydrologist, but you know, it's, it's going to throw at least a knife at some point. So that's good. Okay. This goes there. I'm going to play Hydrologist. Noble Sack's not too bad. Play that. Knife Juggler is going to come in. Then we've got Noble Sack. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. Well, I guess Knife Juggler reinforce. We're going to throw knives at our opponent. This might be Explosive Rune, but if it is, uh, next turn I can play Blessing of King. So we'll we'll definitely see what's up. That's for sure. How oh, Master Shaw. Okay. So this is, listen, this is what's happening right now. We buff this here. We attack his face with this. It's explosive. And so, I kill Shaw. Still have a 6-1 on board. But I got rid of his shenanigans, which is great. So I'm glad we did that. Oh, the Spring Faw. Mate, the Spring Faw. Such a bullshit card. Um, Alright, so I'll play Noble Sack. I'll play Wild Viro. I'll play a dude. I don't want to damage this more than I need to, so you know there's no point in high in it being a a three one for now. So we'll go about it this way. Spling a lynx. The lynx goes in. Okay, my opponent knows what's up. He knows how it is. What is this? Is this freezing? Nah, this ain't freezing. Is this freezing? It is. Well, guess what? I'm gonna play Hydrologist first, but I feel like I'm just gonna play it again. Oh, no, I won't. I will not. Wanna know why? I want this to die to a. Noble sack. And if it does, it'll just be fantastic. Doesn't seem like my opponent's got the spellstone right now, so that's really good. Yep, nope, not worry about that. Go, mate. And it's dead. Sweet. <laughs> Alright, okay, so next turn I'm gonna play Blessing of Kings. Well, actually. I will not. I will not be playing Blessing of Kings. I'll just kill this bear right there. I need to play Wind Fury Harpy, have it live, and then play Blessing of Kings on it. Deal 16 damage. That's a way to win the game, for sure. I can also play Tyrion. 
which is going to be an asset. There are the wolves. So, let's kill some wolves. Um, and play Tyrion, yeah? We play Tyrion, we pass. This is probably monster. Um, so, yeah, we know it's not freezing. Might be explosive, but if he wants to attack this, he's got to trade everything. And that, that I'm fine with. Or, or at least for now, he's got to do that. Not worried about the taunt there. I can silence it. Okay, now this is not as good anymore. It's only gonna get the divine shield. Um, and does it get taunt? It does get the taunt as well. Um, well, I mean, it's not a terrible option. I'm gonna spell. Yeah, I'm gonna spell breaker this. I'm gonna attack face. Oh, I'm good. I'm good with this. Sounds good. So I get to attack face. I'm not too worried about my opponent. Um, since he didn't silence my Tyrion, he didn't attack it yet. He basically wasted his turn. Since his secret didn't proc. So I'm assuming there's like a Venom Strike trap and a Snake Trap or something on those lines. Maybe even a Rat Trap. It's not that important. At all. It's just not. So I'm just going to keep attacking his face. And everything should go well. He's trading. Sounds good. Sounds great. Listen, mate. I'm happy we're having this conversation here. You're not doing anything to me at the moment. And I'm not I'm not worried whatsoever. My friend. I am not worried whatsoever. <laughs> That's a lot of Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Hey, that's what I'm talking about. The deck is good, mate. The deck is really good. You got some nice value in there from all of the Excuse me. Get some nice value out of all of the spells you have. Um, Lich King is perfect. Valinir brings recurring value. Sunkeeper Tareem can win the game by itself. I mean, it, it can be quite oppressive, in my opinion. Um, I really enjoyed it. I know good out enjoyed it as well because well he got to rank uh well top 100 with it so you know that's that's quite impressive and uh well apart from that i'm hoping you guys enjoyed that's pretty much it for me today though um subscribe to the channel if you have not already i know there's only 32 percent of you guys but uh with some hard work and dedication i know we can we can climb those ranks get some get some more people on over and uh well i'll see you guys next video yeah bye bye